to see Stephen in the reaction, the relationship he has with these players, how special is it, Tom, to share this first journey with Stephen on your bench? Well, you know, I, I, I don't like to talk about Stephen a lot because sometimes he ticks me off, but uh, it's been a, you know, it's been, I, I have to say, fun to be, um, to watch him go into a game late in the game and have players respond. I mean, if he would have hit that three, I think that was the happiest I've seen Cassius in a month and a half, you know, watching his reaction as the ball was going up on the bench. Um, first of all, he ran into me almost, but second of all, just watching. Uh, that, that's cool. You know, that means a team. Um, you got yourself a team. And, and I think that's what I'm trying to do now, too. You know, we've been fragmented a little bit by everything that everybody's gone through, where everybody's afraid to say certain things or do certain things. And, and I'm trying to remove the silos a little bit and get back to everybody under the same umbrella and uh, maybe treat it the same way and act in the same way and still be cognizant of, of the things we have to be. So uh, Stephen brought a little levity to that moment. Um, I watched uh, Cassius and uh, his teammates, and uh, you know now I got to live with his mother. Thinks he should be playing more because he got three rebounds. So slept on the couch the last two nights, and uh, he's probably uh, people that were ripping him on Twitter are probably praising him now. So uh, and I could have a little fun with Aaron Henry since Stephen out rebounded him. So other than that, everything's cool. Steven, your dad was joking the other day that you're out rebounding Henny. Maybe he should put you in the starting lineup. For you, I mean, how fun is it just to get out there and not only be playing but contributing? Uh, it's interesting. I didn't really think that I, my first stat would ever be a rebound, maybe an assist or even the free throw, like just some bucket. But um, but uh, I don't think I should be starting over Aaron. Uh, uh, but no, just to contribute is is cool to get on the stat sheet. For those of us that have had the privilege of watching you grow up from a baby all the way up to where you are now, you know, when you're young and your dad has the job he has, you can't be around him all the time. Yeah. But as you got older, you'd hang around practices and now being here, it's special to you, isn't it? What's it mean? Aside from being a Michigan State basketball player, the time you get to be with him, how special is that? Yeah, it's super cool uh, to uh, just be around here and, like, all the time and like even practice and just like be in the drills and like do the live scrimmage like that's that's just so fun for me but um it's just it's just awesome to just be here and be with him all the time so that's cool and even going home every once in a while my best friend's my neighbor uh we're neighbors everywhere like wherever we have a house we're neighbors we're neighbors at my apartment um so i just hang out with him all the time we'll just go home and see our parents and we just walk right back to each other's house and just go play video games or something just hang out with each other so it's uh, cool to just be with our families. A lot of young men are close to their dads, and then they go away to college. You were close to your dad in high school, but now you get to be even closer. For someone like you, Stephen, I mean, yeah, you, I don't know if you got to see his post game of the Oakland. No. He was beaming with pride. He goes, I don't care. I'm going to enjoy it. Just what it meant to him to see your success. With a dad who's a Hall of Famer and done all that he's done, that's got to be pretty cool to see the joy in his heart wasn't a win, it was your play. I, I didn't know he was that excited. He didn't, he didn't show me excitement, but... Uh, <laughs> but but you know him good enough. He's not yeah, gonna. Yeah, it's pretty cool that uh, that I got to go out there and perform. And I didn't play very... I mean, I got... got three some rebounds. rebounds? I got three rebounds. That's about it. But... Uh, no, that was cool. My mom was very excited. Uh, it's funny. I don't think your mom's going to ever go back to her box until you graduate, right? No, I don't think so. It's nice when Dad turns around and sees Mom sitting there. He's like, oh, yeah, I better put Stephen in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Last for you. You are getting to play, so probably not going to redshirt. Yeah. And our, for you, one thing I think people will be surprised at, and your dad's mentioned, is your shot. you got a good shot. Yeah. So how much uh, do you work on that? Uh, I work on it a lot. It, I've always been a pretty good shooter. I, I've noticed a huge jump this year, just being able to shoot. Um, but I just keep the same rotation every time, and that's what's really the most best thing for me. Um, but I work a lot on that. My dad, my dad really likes that I can shoot the ball a little bit, so um, I pride myself on that. What is the deal with 
with you guys, fans have noticed, when Steven gets in, you guys are giving up some of your minutes and nobody cares. It's joy. What is it about Steven that's gripped this team like he has? I mean, we've known him since we've been here, so he's always been a part of the team. So just to see him out there, we know what it means to Coach Izzo and what he's done for all each and every one of us. So uh, that family is such a great family, so we're just happy for him. All right, I want to ask you about Steven. You guys are his, when he gets in, you guys are all his cheerleaders. It's kind of funny. What is it about Steven that really touched this team's heart? Uh, Steven, Steven is just a good kid. I mean, Steven always, always be with us. He always telling jokes. He always, he always talking too much. All like, the Always talking. But Steven, is he the white Gabe? Nah, he ain't me. He like, he like Thomas. Oh, okay, okay. He like Thomas talking way too much. He just get to talking and talking and talking. But Steven's just like a brother to me. Uh, everything that we do, we do it together. And he's one of the, he's one of the closest people on the team to everybody. I want to ask you about Steven. Mm -hmm. That kid is such a hoot. This is Gabe was just talking about he's always talking and talking. <laughs> yes. and talking. Kyle mentioned how that family means so much to you guys. So what is it about Steven, a walk-on that's really taking them hard? I mean, when he was in the game, you guys were all like cheering. I thought you guys were all going to grab pom-poms. What is it about Steven? It, you just, it's hard not to love him. You know, he's just, the, he's obviously he's Coach Izzo's son, you know. And everybody can have what they think about him, but no, he's another one of my teammates, and I love all my teammates the same. I would do anything for him, and Steve was a little special with me too.